welcome to Enots Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video we're doing a tool review and I have two items. One is a set of end mills with a blue nano coating and the other a set of counter sinks which are high speed steel. Both are from Banggood. So let's go into the workshop and see how we do it. Today we have a set of end mills. They're blue nano coated and they go from 2mm up to 12mm. So we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10 and 12. And I also have a set of 6 countersinks. So I'll have a look at those at the same time. The countersinks are 90 degrees and there are 6 in the set. First of all we'll have a look under the microscope and I'll pick one to have a look at. We'll pick the middle one, this one here. That's a 6mm end mill. I've set the tool up under the microscope. I'll see if I can focus this in. We have some distortion on the screen. The camera's reacting with the picture. That's about the best I can do it. But this is one cutting edge here. And on the other side, you have the other cutting edge, and they both look sharp. Let me just turn that round for the other two. Refocus. Yep, both cutting edges look sharp and actually it looks a good finish on there under that microscope. When you look at the actual size I'm looking at is the end, the end of this. Now let's have a look at the countersinks. I'll just go through the sizes, starting with the smallest. They range from a head of 6mm diameter up to 20 and the bodies are 5mm diameter up to 10. I'll just pick the middle size countersink out and we'll look at that under the microscope. I have to go down to focus this one. Not as sharp. And the surface is not as smooth as the milling cutters. But we'll see how they cut. I fitted the end mill in the milling machine. It's a small end mill, so I think we'll run that about a thousand RPM. I'll just put a cut on. And I'll run it along the top to remove the scale. Lower the tool to cut some more off. Now we'll just run the tool along the edge of the metal. The finish. It's hard to tell really. You need to use it quite a lot to see how it performs. Let's have a look at the face now, see if it's done any damage to the end mill. There's the end mill. After it's just milled up and down that strip of steel. You can see the tip. 
I don't can't remember whether that's taken off the blue coating right on the tip, but that's hardly done any milling. And all the mar all these marks are just bits of swarf and stuff that is on the cutter. So on the left is the new cutting edge, and on the right is the used cutting edge. Okay, I put the countersink in the collet and lined it up on this hole. I just want to slow the speed down. So I run it at uh, 180. See how that goes. I'm doing it by hand. Well, that had no trouble cutting that. Uh, you can see the finish on the face looks quite good. I probably should have used some cutting fluid on that. And that's the finish under the microscope of the countersink tool. Time will tell. So if you keep watching the videos, you probably see these being used. I mean, you can judge for yourself. So that's a set of eight end mills with a blue nano coating and six countersinks of different sizes. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was interesting, hope it's useful, and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering. Music